What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the next episode of Runers, where hopefully I won't die a horrible, fiery, earthy, mindy, whatever death. Last time we were killed by an earth spell that I had never seen before, so I don't think that there's anything to be too concerned about. As long as you're getting killed by something you haven't seen before, it's fine. That's part of playing roguelikes and also rogue games. That's something that I seem to come across a lot in Tome and other games that I play. If I haven't seen it before, chances are, it's like a 50-50, it's probably going to just rip me open and spread me all over the sidewalk. And so that's exactly what happened. We came across something new. It went very, very poorly for us. And so it's time to start over. Let's go ahead to adventure mode. We are going to continue forward, I think, with wimpy mode because I just can't seem to. It looks like there's boss unlockables. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. Optional game modes. Boss unlockables and random adventure. Random adventure, use any runes to combine a random spell. Still requires a combiner to discover new spells. Oh, okay. Well, let's go for another wimpy run here. And this time we've got to choose ourselves a new class. And I'm going to try and do something different every single time I play the game. Even though deep inside, I'm saying, I'm thinking the mummy is probably the best character so far in the game. He's quite good. Although, distracting melody seems alright. So let's go ahead and try the bard out today. So for five seconds, he plays a song and nearby enemies are stunned. That seems pretty awesome. I think I can live with that. The other thing that I'd like to see here... I think that I'll go... I'm not sure what I want to try for today. I think I'll probably try and go for something... I'm gonna be honest, I really like Wispy Delights. I find Wispy Delights to be a really, really good bonus. I like it quite a lot. Unfortunately, I did say that I was going to try something new. So let's go with... I think I've already done that one. Let's see. I don't want to deal... Uh, minus 10% damage. Seems to be kind of brutal. Shades Wrath. Every 15.15 se seconds. Shoots a bullet in a random direction that does 2 damage. Plus 0.25 for every floor discovered. Yeah, let's try Shades Wrath. I'm still not a big fan of gambling when it comes to like the random things that kind of raise and lower your stats every single floor that you go to. Still not a fan. I'm just not that guy. What do I want to use on this run? I do think that Spark is the best starting option. Mine Spike is okay. Magic Missile is pretty good as well. We can pretty much combine anything that we want from here on out. So I think I'm going to start with... Let's start with, I guess, Kindle. I mean, Kindle, the problem with Kindle is that it shoots really, really slow, but you get a dot if you can hit the enemy with it, so my aim is quite bad, so I'm thinking I'm just going to go with Spark. We'll start off the way that we normally do. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing a build around Spark right now. I don't even know how to make a build right now, to be honest. Oh, wow. That's a pretty crazy ability. My character looks very much like the guy from Quest for Glory right now. I don't know if that's the reference that they're trying to make, but that's what it reminds me of. We got ourselves an air rune. We got ourselves a shock rune already. Can I double up? Hold on. Let me see if this will work here. I want to see if this will work because this seems like it would be really, really cool if it works. Yeah! Okay, maybe I will do a shock build. This seems awesome. We can only go to the right right now. So, since we're being funneled in that direction, I guess we'll do it. The magic wrangler. The lone spirits are lost and need help. Herd them towards their native world. Okay. I know how to do this. There we go. Go. And over here, let's go up into there. We'll zap you. Let's get this wounded one off into the portal so that it's out of the way. This is much easier once you know what you're doing, by the way, especially if you can herd them along the walls. You see how it's lined up against the wall right here? The easiest way to do this is just to walk like that right there. And it'll funnel it into the wall because it is a little bit finicky in the same way that the herding game in Mountain Blade is a little bit odd. But it is a pretty easy event. It's one that you can handle without too much problem. Or too many problems anyways if I wanted to be syntactically correct here. 3%? I'm going to go with 5% damage. I love damage buffs. And since we're spamming out damage right now, we are just farting little purple pellets everywhere. I think that it's probably going to be wise for me to go for just like a damage build. I don't know how often, I mean, against big enemies, and when we're surrounded, this is going to be great. With where we're at right now, it might not be the most useful ability. I mean, I do see us hitting random things around, so it might work out for us. Was there a detriment to this? Like, was there a downside to this right here? Let me have a look. 
it didn't look like there was a downside. Like, it just seems like you spam out these little things that are just flying everywhere. Got another shock rune right there. I do like the fact that I can double spam these out. That does make me really, really happy. I've always been a lightning fan. I don't know if you've realized that right now. I do enjoy lightning spells. However, I don't know. I'm probably just going to, like, play around with spells some more because a lot of this game is, like, 100% about exploration and just figuring out new spell combinations. So, kill off these lightning mages by showing them that I am much, much better as acting as a Tesla coil than they are. And so, there it is. We have Tesla coiled the hell out of our enemies. On a flawless room, get a long-lasting buff. That doesn't happen very often. Sacrifice all of your traits to stave off death might be useful. Reduce the cooldown of your class ability by 7%. I'm going to go with Gravity Collapse. I think Gravity Collapse. The chance to slow down all enemies around a central point, it's pretty good. It's not bad considering how many enemies there are in this game. I think we've got a reasonably decent chance to make that work to our benefit. There we go. That room has been cleared. We have tons and tons of hearts to make use of just in case we end up heartless in the future. We got a room full of rats. Don't allow these to pin you in a corner. That would be my advice. I know that I gave that in a previous episode, but I just wanted to reiterate or I suppose reiterate. No. Well, anyways, I was trying to make a funsies, but unfortunately it just didn't go the way that I wanted it to. I was kind of trying to put it kind of like 38 degrees north northeast and unfortunately it was more feeling kind of a southward direction. So, what can you do in that case? Let's go ahead, we'll take the Entropy Rune. We'll finish off killing off all the Rat Burrows with a Lightning Storm, and then we'll continue forward. I like this build. This build pleases me. Oh, I'm being hit by these little, yeah, little guys over here who have light spells that travel very, very quickly and make me sad. I'm going to try out my class ability right now. Oh, that did work out pretty well. It's only got a 60 second cooldown, too. So maybe we should have taken the cooldown reduction bonus, or I should have anyways. Anytime I try to make a, anytime I make a mistake, I say it's I. I don't include everybody in the Wii when that happens, because obviously I don't want you included in my Wiis. I mean, I, I prefer to do some things in privacy, let's be honest here. Who doesn't enjoy a little bit of privacy every now and again? We'll annihilate these, in oh, they break apart. Dear God, they are conglomerate bugs. Okay. So that is unpleasant in many, many different and also changing ways. It sounds like I'm doing like some kind of crazy like blast beat right now when I'm doing this. I used to listen to a lot of black metal, and so that's what it reminds me of. You expect some random guy named after some biblical demon in the background to just be like, I mean, that's that's what I remember about it. God. Go ahead and wipe these guys out right here. I'm gonna be honest. I do I do really prefer kind of some of the more operatic black metal nowadays. Things like Cradle of Filth and Demu Borg Gear, although Demu Borg Gear is getting a little, getting a little bit odd nowadays. I mean, they were always pretty, pretty strange, but now they're running around in like Power Ranger outfits and things. I don't even know anymore. Basically, the whole thing is starting to kind of echo Guar. I think. I liked them a lot better back in the day when it was just like bullet belts and black metal. To be honest, we'll go ahead and murder off some of these things right here. Can you murder a non-animate object? I don't think that you can. I think that out there somewhere there's probably a lawyer salivating about figuring out a way to do so, but not now. Not now, dear legal assistant, not now. Let's go off to the east, and then we'll cut down this way because you always want to make sure that you're fully clearing out floors before you proceed. You need those level up buffs, believe you me, and if you don't believe you me, believe me you. Ooh, I think that was the gravity well right there that we just saw get triggered. I am on this run, as I said before. I'm very much going to try and make it so that I use my active ability a lot more. It looks like the range on our active ability leaves something to be desired, although it does act as an amazing little block. A little bit of a rock block there to switch my terminology around because we keep it PG-13 around here. A little bit of a sock block, I suppose, if I wanted to go that direction. Hold on, hold on. I gotta focus on murder here for a second. We almost have a perfect room going. Perfect room! A flawless. And so we'll take the mind rune over here. I may swap this out. I do like the double lightning that we're rocking right now, but it leaves something to be desired with the, with its damage potency. It's definitely not quite as good as I would like. But anyways, as I was saying, it will act as a lovely little barrier. Our special ability, that is. Our Q ability will act as a lovely, lovely little barrier to stop enemies from getting near us. So if we come up against any of those crafty enemies like rats and so forth that like to get in close and give you mouth hugs with their large, nasty, poisonous fangs, well, then it's going to work out to our favor. Entropy runes. What do you... I think those become chaos bolts. 
but Chaos Bolt is a little bit odd in that it fires out in a random direction, and so it can be a little bit difficult. It can be difficult to predict how the spell is going to benefit you. I mean, obviously, what can we do with it? Does it decrease the arc range? It does. Okay, so it decreases the arc range when you do that. That's not quite as bad. If you can decrease the arc range enough, it does a lot of damage. If you can just sit around and buff that thing the entire game until you get to the point where it's at like a 10% arc range, it might be worth it, but even so, it still seems a little iffy. I'm going to go ahead and increase the range on one of these for right now. I haven't... Ooh, 5% damage dealt. We could go with a Mind Spike right there. Just to diversify our attack slightly, I think I am going to do just that. We'll wait for it. I don't remember how fast Mind Spike fires. I think it fired at a pretty fast rate. Eh, I probably should have killed... Eh, I should have kept it for a double combiner. That was a mistake. I made a mistake. Ah, well. We've completed the first floor. And so we can either lower our cooldowns. We can get light levels... Let's go with a reduction in our cooldowns, because I'd like to get this to the point where every 20 seconds or so we can just spam it out. I don't know if that's going to be even reasonably possible, but I think it's a long-term goal to work towards, and I don't think enemies have 10% more health. That's great, considering considering we are running a low-damage, high-rapid-fire build. That is not going to go well for us. I'm going to use my Q ability right here, because there are a lot of things that are trying to run towards me and eat me. And so that brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, eat me. In fact, I would not use that one in this group. Okay, and so the room comes to a not-so-shocking resolution. We've got a little bit of health over here that we can grab onto if we need it. There we go. And we do indeed need it. We lost a little bit of health right there. Let's go up to the debuff room. We've got our knockback decreased. That's unfortunate. So I think what I'm going to do... Eh, they're going to be spamming out flame spirits. Okay. So I'm going to get away from there. I had a flame spirit once. Actually, that's kind of what Goldschlager reminds me of. I used to drink Goldschlager all the time with my roommate. And it's got like that spicy hot peppermint taste. There's also, we've got, we've got a whiskey here. I forget, fireball whiskey or something like that. I don't know. It tastes like those little fireball candies or like hot tamales. It's pretty good. It'll get you drunk pretty rapidly. It's definitely one of those party liquors that you end up drinking way, way too much of. Much in the same way that you drink, like, Irish car bombs. Like, I've never... Adventures start with Irish car bombs. That's how all real adventures start out, with an Irish car bomb, because, frankly, after the first couple, you're probably not going to remember what the hell you were doing anyways. I'm going to go ahead and... I think these are... Yeah, these are zombies, so I need things close to me so that I can lightning zap them. But... Let's go... Oh, I just ate a light blast right there, or a kinetic charge, or whatever that... Where did that thing go? It teleported. Hmm. How evasive of it. We've managed to level up again. We can get with Grizzly Strength, which we took last time to get some extra damage. Holy Crusader. I like Holy Crusader quite a bit. It leaves a big f kind of... It leaves an AoE when you kill undead or demon creatures that does a lot of damage. And so you can kind of lead enemies around the room. Since so many things in this game kind of chain around you and they attach to your character and just kind of follow you blindly, you can actually get some really, really good kiting done with that ability. And so I think that's what I'm going to lean towards for now. There's no unholy enemy. Actually, I think these little ghosty things might count as unholy enemies. No, they don't actually. They must be creatures of darkness then. We'll finish that off right there. We'll pick that up. I think this is probably a game where you, if you're trying to do progression and you're trying to do better, I would recommend not doing what I'm doing right now in my playthrough. You probably want to stick with the same thing over and over again and just like learn a play style. I think there's also probably a couple really, really overpower combinations from looking at the abilities. There's probably, I wouldn't doubt that the reason that the same people seem to be at the top of every single ladder right here, it's probably because they found some combination that is just absolutely magnanimous and amazing. That thing doesn't really want to die. My lightning is going straight through it, and that is not good. There we go. I would love it if you could get like a chain lightning spell that was similar to this one, but then chained off of enemies. I think that would probably be an amazingly fantastic strategy. Oh, and we've got the skellies coming in. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, class abilities on cooldown. Never mind. I guess that I won't. There we go. And so there's the holy ray right there. Now I can step on it. It's not a big deal. 
And if you can guide enemies through, you see how much health he lost right there just by going through it? It actually does a very, very substantial amount of damage, and it stays for a long time, too. Like, it's actually on the screen for quite a long duration, and so you can use it to plan a greater strategy, especially if you end up coming into a room where there's just loads and loads of undead. Makes your job much, much easier. We got demons, we got undead, so yeah, this is another room that I'm actually excited about the prospects of. We're going to open up these holy radii here. Try and kite some enemies across them, do a little bit of extra damage. Oh, that's a demon gate right there. I need that to go away. Demon gate, close yourself. Squeak shut, sir. And there we are. Alright, cool. I have this tendency to get lost in thought when I play this game. So anyways, I told you I was going to finish my doctor story. So I've been in and out of the doctor's office over the last week or two, just trying to figure out ways to get certain maladies under control that I've become afflicted with. I've definitely, I've caught some debuffs. Caught some debuffs lately. Some not so fun debuffs. And so I've been trying to get rid of those. And it's just like there's a number of things. So when you go to the doctor's office, you fill out this little brochure. And it's like, how do you see the role of a doctor in your life was one of the questions. And I was like, so is this like a trick question? Like, I see you as a doctor. I feel like you answered. Oh, good. We've got the arena. And so I feel like you've answered your own question already before we even had to go any further. Now, we do have the damage build. Ooh, unfortunately. Let me slow this rat down for a second because with the build that we're rocking right now, these bats can be very, very difficult to kill if they decide to evade you. And since we're on a time limit, although we are completing this thing pretty rapidly. So let's go ahead and finish off the thief right there. And our event is over. I was like, well, I see you as my doctor. I mean, if you're looking for friends or something like that, I suppose we can kind of step our game up right there and we can try and move it to the next level. But honestly, I'm just looking for you to fulfill the role of a doctor in my life. They're like selling. So I go to like the free health clinic because I'm Poe. And <laughs> the thing about the free health clinic is you have to understand that in between like the inbred rednecks fighting and like throwing things and asking for their medical records to be expunged. And, like, the 14 million children running around vomiting all over the floor, like, nobody cares about your problems. They just want to get you in and out as fast as possible. And I think they may actually be fundraising for the free clinic by selling art. Oh, no. They might be actually fundraising for the clinic by selling art. I can't verify it, but they've got art all over the walls. And they've actually got, like, the artist and, like, these little placards underneath that tell you, like, where you can get the art from. And I'm not sure if they're collecting a commission or something on that. It seems weird that we haven't got any combiners right now. Is it just me? But I would love to get some combiners so that I could vary my attacks a little bit because I do feel like we need to step our game up a little bit. We've got more than enough mind runes to do something super awesome with it, so I, I would love to do that at some point in game. I'm speaking directly to the game right now in the hopes that maybe it'll have like an attack of conscience and maybe help us out a little bit. I'm going to blow my ability right here because we have a lot of enemies that want to be close to me, but no. Don't stand, don't stand, don't stand so close to me. To quote the old 80s station, I don't remember the name of the band to be honest. Somebody will call it out down below, I believe in you right now. 10 experience on combining, no, I don't want that one. Lucky increases your luck. Let's go with lucky because we need to get ourselves. We really, 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 I don't know if that affects the way that the levels are laid out. It probably affects our crit rate or something. And since we're going for a low damage, high rapid fire, type build I'm thinking that maybe being able to get some more crits might be a good idea only got a couple minutes left in the episode but I think that since we've already finished the floor let's just go on to the next one we'll try and stretch this out so we can go ew I don't like any of these these are all not so great I'm just gonna go for the random one and so we got plus one earth levels and it looks like it gave us a combiner or something I don't know let's have a look at our inventory yeah it gave us a combiner so at least that's something I don't know what I should combine right now. We've got speed runes, so we could make the speed buff one more time. I already know what you get from Ra. The Raging Darkness runes. What happens if you mix darkness and light, I wonder? Let's find out. Kind of a yin-yang type deal right there. A danger zone. Danger zone! Makes a large area of unholy energy. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds suitable. What's the cooldown on said danger zone? I feel like I need to... Wow, that's... That's a pretty large ability for a single combiner. I mean, honestly, using the double combiner to get an ability that covers that large of an area with damage dealing potential, I, it must not deal very much damage. That's all that I can think right now is because, oh, we have axe zombies. That's pleasurable, enjoyable, and also delightful. So let's start killing them off so that we can have AoE zones hiding all over the place. And hopefully, oh my god. 
All right, and so I dropped the darkness AOE right there. Oh, we still got that. Let's go ahead and kill that. I don't see any hearts laying around, unfortunately. None of the zombies had hearts, so they hadn't made it to the wizard just yet. Their quest had not led them that far. It's okay. And having... I'm going to use my class ability again because once more... I don't like how I actually have to take my finger off the trigger in order to lay down the AOE. I think, honestly, they could probably remove the global cooldowns and the game would not suffer for it. I think the game would still be perfectly fine. I'm going to hope that one of these dudes has looted a heart around here somewhere because if not, our health is looking a little bit guilty at the moment. And by that, I mean it looks suspect. I think I'm going to go up to the top. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. Fire and slime balls and all kinds of crazy stuff at me. I'm going to try and work around this zone right here. It doesn't look like the AoE ticks very much. Ooh, double health right there. Maybe we can get a triple health. A double health to take us back up to maximum health. I don't mind. That's fine. Awesome. Some people had also mentioned during my cat lateral, not cat lateral damage, I'm sorry, during parkour that I do post commentary. Somebody had said that I record the, this is all live. I've never done post commentary on my channel before, so I did want to figure that up. I'm trying to remember things to talk about here because I know that there were like specific things that I wanted to talk about. Oh, it lowers their defense. Maybe it doesn't even deal damage. It, no, it looks like it does something. There we go. And so with cries of lethargic death, our enemies fall to the floor or float to the floor or whatever it is that those ghosts do when we kill them. How do you kill a ghost? That does raise an interesting... What in the hell are you? My god, it's a spider with a claymore. Okay, so we need to get out of this corner very, very badly. And also, the fact that it seems to have like a fiery sword of just... Ah, splat dismemberment. I don't feel very good about this, so let's get rid of this spider. Because he is a major, major problem. And if he continues at this rate, I'm sure he'll be promoted to Colonel at some point. Okay, and so we've eliminated that. A Colonel problem. That sounds like your operating system has come across some very, very serious maladies. We'll go ahead and destroy this. There we go. Okay, move some of those. What is this? Stasis. Can you win with your powers? Reduced activating the stasis event will unleash the enemies and curse you with reduction to all rune levels. Sure, why not? Oh, good. My range has been reducted. Let's go ahead and we'll drop an AoE right here, and then we'll just kite them in circles around it. I'm also going to use my class ability to keep them at bay, because if they come ashore, I feel as though, well, that's not going to end very well for me. I would prefer my shore to be unlittered with monsters. We can go with extra crit damage. I'm probably going to go with that one right now. We also got a level up, so that's cool. We can increase our mind rune levels. Well, we can increase the boundaries for our levels anyways. On pickup of items, your cooldowns go down by point. Yeah, let's go with probably that one, to be honest. Floating move speeds up by 10%, but you lose friction as well. Every 50 seconds, you summon an arcane guardian that rotates around you and can hurt enemies. Ooh, so these two right here, I really have no choice. I have no... Let's go with arcane guardian. I'm going to go with arcane guardian just because I think that sounds a little bit more active and awesome than the other idea kill off some enemies over here. We do have demons on the board, which means that we are going to be making use of our AoE ability. So we want to kite these guys across these as much as we can. There it is. The level is already cleared out. We'll kill off that final floating mind. And we'll eliminate that. Don't confuse your AoE with this AoE right here. That is bad. You don't want to step on that. It will leave you with very, very burned toesies. Your pedicles will end up in very, very bad shape. You'll have like a Michael Scott morning, if you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and we'll murder that guy right there. Awesome. I am really liking double lightning. I'm not gonna... I think that double lightning is one of those things that I, I'm feeling an addictive personality come out from deep inside of me. And so I, I like leaving our enemies forked and strafed with lightning. It makes me pretty happy. We have to face a boss over here at some point. Which is why I'm gonna try and cut this episode a little bit long. Because I get the feeling I'm probably going to die either at the boss or shortly thereafter. So I'll probably give you a little bit of a long episode right now. That or maybe I'll cut this one off and then we'll start the next episode. And if I die, we'll just restart during the confines of that episode. I don't really know how many episodes of this game I want to do. Because obviously I don't think I'm getting that much better each time. I am getting a feel for the abilities that are more useful and less useful. So we've got a boss room right there. We're going to wait until we clear out the entire floor to go over there though. 
Luckily, we have a whole bunch of extra hearts that we can make use of. I don't like the fact that I'm using a limited range attack right now to go up against the boss. In general, I would say that my preference right now... God, we have so many runes that we could be making use of at the moment. And just none of them are... I need to combine them is the thing. I think I'll probably increase the range of both of these slightly, so at least we're almost off the screen with our fire. Or with our lightning. We got a lot of enemies that are charging us right now. I'm going to use my class ability as a reactive to that. Because I do think that that's probably the most astute choice. Lots of bats flying around. God. I guess you could say that it's... Well, I mean, it's not the funniest thing, but... Never mind. We're going to leave that pun alone. I've got all kinds of bat puns. Like I'm coming up out of the bat cave, but I'm going to leave them alone right now because I feel like most of them are very, very tired. They're not the sort of puns that I want to inflict upon the nerd castle. Let's go ahead and drop an AoE on them right there so that their defense is lower. Ooh, hey now. Alright. Cool. Another room down. I think we're pretty much out of rooms right now. I mean, we've got... I want to level up one more time. We're so close. If you look at our XP bar, it's the little blue bar at the top left-hand corner. We're so close. Like, one room, I think, is all that we're going to need. Oh, what did I just get hit? Okay, I just got hit by one of those little air puff thingamadoobies. Didn't want to break out the technical terms in front of everybody, but thingamadoobies. I mean, sometimes you just got to bring it up to the next level. You got to let your employer know that you know the terminology of the field that you're working in. And thingamadoobie, I mean, that's, that's a big one right there. I mean, it's got lots of syllables. That's how you know it's correct. And down goes the enemy. Oh, good, a rune combiner. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I think that that's probably going to be best served by making myself a mind spike maybe or a phase missiles I do like phase missiles a lot I do think that it's a very very good spell and so I think I'm gonna ditch some of these right here and the nice thing is we have a whole bunch of mind runes and so we can buff those up slightly we can kinda prop them up a little bit and make it a lot better than it would actually be right now and so once that comes off cooldown we'll go ahead and we'll fight the boss I think the boss was over here somewhere Oh, we have an extra room that we haven't cleared either. Well, I want to level up first, so let's go through this room. Ooh, lots of things coming at me right now. I'm going to go ahead and slow my roll slightly, even though I already know my roll. My roll is the bard. That is the job that we do, to quote my old D&D group, Send in the Bard. That's always, I was also in a band called Send in the Bard. Made like nerdy music. I might get back into it at some point. Make stuff like Kirby Crackle and so forth. Let's see here. We've got Armor Piercing. I'll probably go with the next level of Collective Maniac so that I can reset that a little bit faster. After killing 50 enemies, you get 2 HP permanently. Let's go with that, actually. You kill a lot of enemies in this game, so I'm figuring we'll probably hit that threshold reasonably quickly. Especially if random adds count from, like, boss mobs and things. I can't promise you how this boss mob is going to go because, frankly, we're not really equipped for it. But we'll see what we can do here. Dash, the speedy bat. I've never seen this boss before, so this is all going to be new and improved to me. Ooh, it looks like they dropped some kind of speed debuff. Okay, and he's also firing little thingies at me. Luckily, he likes to follow me around. Which leads me to believe that at some point I might be able to get away. Oh, yeah, he dropped ads right in the middle of our AoE zone, so that helps us out a little bit. I do sincerely hope that at some point... We've got kind of a couple added bonuses here right now. Our kit is actually working very, very well. A, because we have penetrating strikes, and B, because our AoE is going to protect us from his little ads that he's bringing in. We're not damaging him very quickly. Oh, our class ability stuns him. So we want to rush him right now and keep him stunned as much as possible. There we go. And so now that he's been downed and stunned... Oh, I don't even know what I'm stepping in anymore, but it looks like he is getting faster. Maybe. And there it is. And so we've managed to beat the enemy. We've defeated our boss, and I think it's time to go to the next floor, which means that I'm probably going to break it off right here. we got another spell slot. Very, very cool. And a triple combiner. Very, very nice. It seems like the loot on this one was definitely worth the effort. Let's go back over to here. We can combine a lot of stuff right now. I wanted to see what three mine runes did, but then I foolishly made myself phase missiles. Although, knowing what I know now, it did help out versus that boss because it was spamming out stacks of mobs. And since the missiles go through the mobs, that helped us out quite a lot. 
I do like the triple earth ability a lot, but in the interest of doing further research, let's go for triple speed right here. Teleport. Teleports a caster to the target location. Oh, very cool. A little bit of micromanagement right there. What's the cooldown going to look like on that? Let's find out here. Ooh, and it's only on a couple second cooldown, so combined with our abilities right now, that's actually really, really nice. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Runers. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I like this game. I like this game a lot. I hope you enjoyed the extra length episode right here. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, and take care out there, everybody. Hi-do!